Oh, how's it going, people? Unfortunately, it's that time again. Mohamed Salah has spoken out about his contract situation with Liverpool Football Club. Now, the rest of the quotes have been very nice and very welcoming and said, I want to retire here. You know, I want to stay here. I love the club. This one, yes and no. Mohamed Salah has said this time, I want to stay, but it's not in my hands. They know what I want. I'm not asking for crazy stuff. The thing is, when you ask for something and they show you they can give you something because they appreciate what you did for the club. I've been here for my fifth year now. I know the club very well. I love the fans. The fans love me. But with the administration, they have told the situation it's in their hands. So obviously, if you're a Red supporter, even if you're not a Liverpool supporter, it's all that most people could talk about at the moment when it comes to Mohamed Salah. He only has 18 months left on his contract and reports say that he's after a weekly salary of more than 300k that's the quote more than 300k and i know that most people read into that 300 grand but when i read that i look into the fact that it doesn't say more than 400 000. so hopefully it means it's in a middle ground between the two about 350 to 400 when you look at all competitions and that's including internationals as well Mohamed Salah is statistically the third best player in the world right now he has 16 goals in the Premier League which is six more than anyone else and then he has seven goals in six Champions League games keep it in mind statistically literally including at nationals the third best player in the world right now and I don't think it's an outlandish statement to say he's been the best player at the club for at least three of those five years you could argue that one year went to Sadio Mane and you could argue that one year went to Virgil van Dijk when he nearly won the Ballon d'Or. My point, my feelings, my thoughts on this is just give the man what he wants if you know what he wants. Obviously, there's a cap on that. Within reason, give the man what he wants. But a 400k a week deal on a five-year basis, it wouldn't be five years, put it that way. At least I really don't think it would be five years. They might do five years to time down. However, let's say it's a five-year deal on 400k a week. That's 96 million big ones. And that sounds like a lot on paper. And that is a lot to, you know, the average person, the everyday Joe. But in football in terms... Not really when you talk about Mo Salah. Literally, the only player that you could bring in that could play in Mohamed Salah's position that's on the same level, statistically, as Mo Salah is actually Kylian Mbappe. So if Liverpool has some top secret plan to bring in Mbappe, agent Mbappe 2021, then you shouldn't let Mo Salah go. And let's face it, when you talk about Kylian Mbappe, his wages are going to be at least 300 grand a week as well. So... Where did that bring you? Back to me. It's the same bloody problem. Like most things, I'm trying to look at it through both prisms, through both sides of the story. What do FSG want? What does Mo Salah want? And I get the FSG, like the wage structure, I think the wage structure that they've implemented into LFC is one of the best things that they've done since being at the club. And I get that it's important, but you have to get this done. It's very, very worrying. It's very concerning. The FSG and the administration, as Mo Salah puts it, know the situation. They're very aware of the situation. They just haven't really done anything to complete it yet. And I can see where FSG are coming from. Any other player, and maybe the wage structure is a bit too important. But Mohamed Salah is way too good to let go. Without Mo Salah... We don't challenge for trophies. And let's face it, there's a massive elephant in this room. And no, it's not me. If the elites of this world, in terms of football, get paid 600k a week, 500k a week, then it's really not outlandish for Mo Salah to ask for 300k a week. It's just not. Put it this way, in 18 months' time, I'm Mo Salah, all right? I'm not, obviously. Suspend disbelief, all right? Go with, go with me for a minute. All right, I'm Mo Salah. I'm a free agent. I'm coming down. I'm sitting down in my Liverpool shirt at Paris Saint-Germain's table, at Real Madrid's table, at even Barcelona's table if they can afford it. Mysterious magical funds, I don't know. I'm sat down at Chelsea's table, I'm sat down at Man City's table, I'm sat down at PSG's table. They're offering him 400k to just sit at that table. The money in football is ridiculous, all right? It is ridiculous. In the perspective of football economy, which is ridiculous, and we all know it, Mo Salah is worth what basically any player in the world is worth right now. And if the elites of football are getting paid 500k, 400k, Mo Salah is well within his rights to ask for that. Well within his rights to ask for that. So my closing message is just get it done, Liverpool. <laughs> Get it done, FSG. Because one thing is for sure, if FSG don't do this, there's going to be absolute carnage. So there you go. Those are my thoughts on the new Mo Salah interview, the new quotes coming out saying they know what they need to do and I'm not asking for crazy stuff. What are your thoughts? <laughs> I think they obviously should get it done. I think that's what most people are going to think, but you never know. You never know. There's lots of different perspectives on lots of different things. I'll be back later on because the man himself, the Don himself, Mo Salah, plays against Nigeria in the African Cup of Nations. So you're at least going to see my frozen face two more times today. Lucky, lucky people. Take care. Have a great rest of your day. I'll see you in a bit. Ta-ra.